I've never been all that passionate. I mean, my sex life with Lucky has been great. He's so gentle and loving. And with Nicholas, it's okay. You can tell me. It's so intense. Sometimes I feel like I'm going crazy. Well, I know he feels the same way about you. I've never experienced anything like it. Do you think it's purely physical? Uh, well, that's the thing. I mean, Nicholas and I have been friends for so long, it's literally impossible to separate the physical from the emotional. I mean, we have been there for each other, we have confided in each other, we've talked about everything under the sun, been there in grief. I, I have genuine feelings for Nicholas. He told me that he cares for you deeply, too. Well, it doesn't really matter what we feel. No, we can't act on it. Too many lives would be ruined. And I do love Lucky. I really do, with all my heart. And then I see Nicholas and I lose my resolve. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Okay. Well, you can start by being honest with yourself. And with Lucky. You think I should tell him the truth? I don't know. I mean, how much of the truth you tell him is up to you, but... You could at least be honest about how conflicted you are. I keep having these flashes that he's found out the truth. And how angry and betrayed he is. He deserves someone better. He deserves a woman who will be faithful to him. Elizabeth. Lucky loves you. And he pretty much always has, and he certainly always will. So whatever you decide to do, I... What's most important is that you don't torture yourself. No, I would have sworn nothing could break us up. I helped her through that time of healing after the rape. The love between us was so strong. I don't know, maybe at the end of the day, it's just one too many mistakes for us to overcome. You're being awfully quiet. Am I boring you? No, no, I just, I really, I just don't know what to say to you about it. Now I know I'm in trouble. <laughs> Does she seem different to you? <clears throat> um, different? Wait, uh, how? Confused, unhappy. No, not really. I mean, she's maybe a little distracted. Has she said anything specific? But I think you need to ask her. Just be honest with her. Let her be honest with you. I've tried. There's something she's not telling me. Hi. Can I have a glass of Chardonnay, please? Great. Thank you. I didn't know that we would be here. Want me to leave? No, it's fine. Lucky and I had a conversation <clears throat> about you earlier. He's wondering if you should call off the engagement. Why? Why? Because he knows something's wrong with you and sees you tearing yourself up about it. Well, did you tell him anything? No, no. He, he's convinced that, that you can't get past all the mistakes he, the two of you have made and he thinks it's his fault because he can't make it right. He has been bending over backwards to be nothing but sweet and thoughtful to me. Well, I can tell you he disagrees. He thinks it was selfish to assume that getting remarried is what you both want. He's the most unselfish person I've ever known. I'm just saying he wants you to be happy and knows you're not. This has nothing to do with him. Well, he can't imagine what else it could be. Right, because he can't imagine that his brother and fiancé would be sleeping together. Which is why he deserves to hear the truth from you. Hey. Hey, 
Um, thank you for meeting me. You decided to tell the truth about what you saw outside Sonny's house the night Claudia disappeared? No, forget Claudia. I'm in huge trouble, and I need your help. And if Spinelli finds out, I'm going to lose him over this really stupid thing I did that I can't take back. What did you do? I, I need to find that artist, Franco. Well, he's showing at the Proite Gallery. I think Crimson said of that, right? No, no, you don't understand. Um, he's, a, he's a major talent on the contemporary art scene, and he lives in Paris and never sees anyone, and I already tried to talk to his agent, but she wasn't much of a help, and I don't know where else to turn, so do you, do you think you could help me? Is it that important to you? It's more than important. My life's on the line. I have worn it through my head every possible way. I cannot tell Lucky that I've been with you. It'll hurt him too much. Well, what's the alternative here? Continue to torture yourself? Okay, so what happens if I tell him? Well, where did Lucky and I go from there? I don't know. You'll suffer the consequences and, and I have to move on. Oh, yeah. The truth will set me free. Well, it's better than the purgatory you're in right now. Do you know what this is going to do to him? The realization that all of his dreams have been shattered. He already knows that there's something wrong. He deserves to hear he something. Deser he deserves to know that his brother and fiancé have been sleeping together? Uh, okay. And why are you putting this all on me? What about you? Can you honestly look him in the eye and tell him that you've been having sex with me? Okay, all right, all right. Okay, maybe... Just tell him that you're having second thoughts about about the engagement. Just tell him that because I'm, he is beating himself up over this because he thinks he pushed you into an engagement you just don't want. But I do want it because I love him and I want to spend the rest of my life with him. The only thing messing me up is my feelings for you. I saw some of Franco's work when I was at the gallery following up on a case. Creepy, isn't it? All those crime scenes and images of death, it's gross. Why is your life on the line? Did someone threaten you? Not exactly. Okay, then why do you need my help? Okay, I was supposed to try to convince Franco to do a photo shoot for Crimson, and I knew it was impossible, but Kate said I should try anyway. And I went with Franco to a studio and let him take compromising photos of me. Don't let your mind run wild. It could be worse. And now you want the photos back. I have to destroy them. Well, they're Franco's property, and he did have your consent. I know. I know. I should have thought it through, but you know me. I just acted on the moment, and now I have to fix it. So I was thinking if I could talk to Franco, maybe I could convince him to destroy the photos, but I would have to find him first with your help. Please. I can run a check on the guy, but if he doesn't have a criminal record, there's not much I can do. 